Flat Earth researchers, debunkers, and debunkers. We are about to get one of the first big rains after a long drought. The well has literally run dry in my neighborhood, and uh, this will be a welcome relief. Anyway, been back uh, back in a full-time job recently after a few years doing my own thing at which point I got into flat earth and thankfully had the time to contemplate things argue with uh, debate with uh, various people learn to ignore the trolls and those who will never never even consider changing their world view. Of course, most, uh, most uh, flat earthers are people that have made an effort to, to look within, find answers about what life's all about. What are, they, what are we here for? Why are we here? How did we get here? All that stuff. And, you know, some people are happy with what we're told in school or by the media or the, to the assumptions from cavemen to dinosaurs and <coughs> evolution, all that, makes sense. And it's so long ago and so far away that, well, whatever, okay. But of course, uh, anyone who does look inward <coughs> and ask how and why feel certain ways or believe certain things then then only when you seek to answer those oh sorry about that seek to answer those questions will you uh, get any kind of answers and uh, that's the difference between flat earthers and others flat earthers examine everything we're told go back through the physics the science, the textbooks, the Google, the wiki, the astronomy, and all that, go back through it, and any discerning mind can realize or see that uh, a lot of assumptions have been made along the way about the way things are, and uh, the people that want to tell us things are this way or that way, are those who have a vested interest in the end result, or non-result, maybe. So anyway, this kind of rant, sorry about the weather, this rant is, is really directed at um, those people who will go, will argue with a flat earth or something along the lines of it's science and without science you wouldn't be able to type away on the keyboard right now or live a modern life yes those things are down to science which does involve a little bit of math but it's the physics the chemistry the biology that makes things Math doesn't make things. Math can be used to describe something in a certain way, like another language. You can describe something in French, English, Thai, Japanese, or uh, 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 hieroglyphics, or math. And you can refer to the same thing, but uh, the meaning behind that word, depending on the language it's spoken in and what that means in that language, will be hugely significant to the people that speak that language, but insignificant to the people that don't speak the language. <coughs> Doesn't mean that if you don't really understand math that you're wrong about the Earth not being a globe because of the simple fact that math 
and science are two different things. The science is the physical, the reality, the, the physics of it all. But the math is numbers, a language used to describe it. And as we all know, let's take the number 10, for example. How many different ways or mathematical formulas from the simple to the banal can you think of to arrive at the end result number 10 5 plus 5 3 plus 7 take away a few numbers add them together divide them up do the square roots do some do some tricky little things like this and that whatever little symbols might mean something twist it all around divide it up Break it into pieces, put them back together, and arrive at the number that you want to arrive at, number 10. Or we could have 360, that magic circle number. Well, you can divide that up any way you like and make calendars and things like that. And that's what the celestial objects moving around the earth do they don't tell you what's moving they don't tell you whether the earth is spinning they just tell the time or planets tell the time the moon has its time the sun has its time wandering stars have their individual times however long it takes for them to orbit the Earth or do their circuit, whether it's a, an elliptical orbit, a circle or whatever, they do their thing in their time. And that's why things like uh, horoscopes or the star signs are an important aspect. The astrological aspect, astronomy and astrology are very much interwoven. They are one and the same, but they have been divided into what some would say is fact and others would say is fantasy. Or some would say the same, the same thing. They'd say the timing of the movements of the celestial objects are fact but the effects they have on the individual who lives under them, under those signs, are fictitious, they might say. But when it comes down to it, we are looking at the meaning of life, aren't we? The shape of the earth, the ball earth, because of gravity and the big bang out of nothing, created everything, why? Oh, we don't know why, it was just an accident. Or, either way, imagining the Big Bang and life forming out of nothing and matter forming out of nothing is an impossible thing to imagine anyway. So, there is no harm in considering a gazillion different ways or reasons that the universe formed because nobody can say with any certainty nobody knows and if you're not comfortable with that then you'll bulk at flat earth but if you're seeking answers to life's most fundamental questions and you know that what we are told by the mainstream institutions is not satisfactory, then we know we have to start looking, first of all, with our own eyes, rather than relying on people telling us how it is, just establishing for ourselves as individuals how much we can actually know as truth. As an individual, what do you actually know? Not what do people tell you and teach you to repeat. What do you know? And if you know anything about the way the world works, then you will know 
that people can be easily influenced, easily led, easily persuaded um, to behave in certain ways, to do certain things, to believe certain things based on very little evidence. How many of us have bought a car because we like the colour or we like something inside it but we didn't really, we glossed over the fact that the car probably needed some repairs that we wouldn't be able to afford. Yeah? We all do it, we're all guilty of it. But that's what Flat Earth does to you. Makes you think about who you really are.